the National Cleanup Production Center South Africa aims to empower industry through this instructional video series. This video explores how organizations can improve their ad hoc energy management that detracts from consistent energy efficiencies or improvements by utilizing the International Standard for Energy Management Systems, ISO 50001, organizations can develop a Structured Energy Management System, or ENMS. An energy management system is used to measure, monitor, and continuously improve any organization's energy performance, which translates into saving money, conserving resources, and addressing environmental concerns. It is a comprehensive and structured approach to energy management, a practical framework modeled on the plan, do, check, act methodology. Let's look at how you can implement an energy management system in your organization. In the plan phase, the very first step should be to secure management commitment. This is crucial. Explain the business benefits of taking a systematic approach to managing energy and ensure that the leadership agrees to be involved and is visible in the activities of the energy team. A plotted graph is a great way to get management buy-in as it clearly shows what can be achieved by applying ENMS. In this phase, company management allocates the resources and assigns responsibilities for implementation and maintenance of the ENMS, signs the energy policy, and regularly reviews the internal energy team's progress. The energy team, amongst its other responsibilities, clearly defines the scope and boundaries of the system and reviews legal and other requirements that apply to energy use. Then, plan the changes required to improve energy performance here the team conducts an energy review to establish how much energy is being used and where is it being used. Identify significant energy users, what variables are driving this usage and who is influencing it. Develop an energy baseline and energy performance indicators for each significant energy user. Decide whether an energy audit is required. Set objectives and smart targets. Identify opportunities for continuously improving energy performance and draft action plans to meet objectives and targets. In the due phase, implement the action plans drafted, look at daily activities and continuously improve the organization's energy usage. In doing, review training, awareness and competence in the organization. Ensure documentation and records review and control. Review operational control. Ensure energy efficiency is considered in the design process and during purchasing and procurement of all products, goods, and services across the organization. And lastly, consider applying life cycle costings in the procurement of equipment. Next, check whether the energy performance is actually improving and energy savings are being made. If not, the reasons why should be identified and corrective actions taken. In this phase, monitor and measure key characteristics of the energy management system. Evaluate legal or other compliance. Review the energy performance indicators. Ensure measuring instruments are calibrated. Conduct an internal audit. Address non-conformities and monitor energy performance for improvement. And finally, act to sustain and continuously improve the system. Here, the management team conducts periodically scheduled management reviews to measure how successful the energy management system has been over the review period, address barriers to success and problem areas within the energy management system, continue to provide further support for the system and propose and agree on plans for the next period. Check out the other NCPC SA Toolkit videos for guidance on how to improve specific energy systems and how to implement resource efficient and cleaner production in your organization. The National Cleaner Production Center South Africa 
is a program of the Department of Trade and Industry, hosted at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. For more information, visit www.ncpc.co.za.